a bond, a free man. Yeah, that's right. A bunch of us in this country. Allowed to read and to write. Allowed to do a lot of things. If someone must allow you to do something, then you are not really free either. Captain Caillou, Private Peter, reporting, sir. We know Joy Reb has big guns all along the ridge here. It seems they're putting new ones down here along the river, just south of Port Hudson. If we don't open up this bend here along the Mississippi, we'll never control the south. Is this the Negro here that was running from Clinton? Yes, sir. What were you doing there? We built the railroad. What did you see? It's okay. Cannons. Cannons? Like them? No, not like those. Big cannons. Did you see troops? Many soldiers. We've got to take Port Hudson before those reinforcements arrive. General, permission to speak. Johnny Reb is dug in there real deep. It's only one way in. It's a killing field, sir. I know what it is. Somebody has to mount that attack. How the hell did you survive all those days in the swamp? Hmm? I know this swamp. Yes, well, doesn't mean you're fit for combat. In closed circles, there's the great Negro question. Are you fighters or are you runners? You know what I see here? Disobedience. Hmm. Huh. Dismissed. Come on. Come on, boy, this ain't the time. Come on, let's go. I fight them. And they beat me. They whip me. They string me up. They sell me. They throw me down a well. They pull me out and beat me again. And I fight them again. <laughs> they cut me. They burn me. They burn my neck. They burn my feet. They break the bolts in my body more times than I can count. But they never. Never break me. <laughs> but we'll test that metal. Yeah. Captain, your men attack at dawn. Dismissed. 